All right, this is Vegeta 8259, and today we're going to be finally reviewing the 1200 scale speed grade wing Gundam. Now, if you just watched the uh, previous two videos in this series, uh, you'll know that this is a pre painted, really quick, simple uh, model kit made by Bandai, which of course is why they gave it the name Speed Grade. Now, I think I'd completed this kit in about 18 minutes. Although none of the panel lines are filled in, and I guess you could go and do that, but uh, I just decided to go ahead and review it right after I finished building it. For colors, uh, like I said, the whole thing's pre-painted. I think all of the plastic, well no, there's white plastic and gray plastic. And all the blue, uh, yellow, and red, and green parts you see are going to be painted. Although, uh, most of the paint is pretty good, although as you can see like on the shoulder here, there's a couple places where the paint's a little splotchy, but uh, nothing serious. And one disadvantage to having a pre-painted kit is that when you clip the parts off the uh, trees, obviously any parts that are painted, are, you're going to expose the plastic up under that paint when you cut the parts off. But, other than that, it's actually a pretty nice little model kit, uh, given the price. I think this is like 8 or $9 at uh, Gundam Store and more. Anyway, uh, I was actually surprised by the articulation of this kit. The articulation is pretty good. The head is on a ball joint, so it goes up and down, side to side a bit. It can't rotate 360, but it goes about that far to each side. Uh, the wings on the back, the only thing that bothers me about articulation on this kit in particular is that the wings don't go out. They're just stuck like this. In fact, the wings are all just one piece. But they do uh, have a hinge where they can go back and forth like so. And when you fold them back, the arms can go 360. The shoulders are actually on a ball joint, so uh, they can also go forward and back a little bit. And the shoulder armor is separate from the upper arm. There's a rotation at the elbow, as well as an elbow joint, which bends about 90 degrees. And uh, this little yellow claw thingy on the forearm moves up and down. Not for any sort of transformation, but just to allow the elbow to bend further. Because uh, this kit does not transform into the bird mode. Now there's no uh, waist rotation at all. Unfortunately, that's pretty much the only big uh, lack of articulation that I found between both RX-78 and Wing Gundam. So no rotation in the torso, although... There is rotation on the side skirts. They are uh, on a peg. So they can't go in and out, but they do rotate. The front skirts are one piece, and they can go all the way up, which allow the hip joints, which are ball joints, to go really far forward. And then they go back until they hit the back skirts. The knees are just a single joint, and they can bend just a little more than 90 degrees. Now, the only problem I have with this kit, paint-wise, is the fact that the knees aren't painted gray, or the knee joints, rather. Uh, they were just left white, which I don't really understand, since the rest of the kit is painted. Why leave off the knee joints? The uh, RX-78, which I'll show you in a minute, also had that same problem. Now, the ankles are on a ball joint, so they can go up and down, side to side just a little bit, and rotate a little bit as well. Oh, I almost forgot to mention the wrists are on a ball joint too. But they're really, really tight, so you might want to be careful with them. But they rotate and wiggle. So, for accessories, Wing Gundam has got its uh, signature shield, which is actually really nicely detailed on the bottom. I, th I found that uh, to be very surprising. I didn't expect these uh, kits to be quite as detailed as they are. As you can see, they've even got little markings and warning labels and stuff on them. 
but there's a peg on the shield which goes into a hole on the left arm can't put it on the right arm there's no hole there and it's nice and tight and I don't think you're gonna have to worry about it falling off he also comes with Wing Gundam's Buster Rifle molded in gray plastic with some paint applications on it again just fits right in the hand and looks pretty nice and then his last accessory well last weapon anyway is uh, his beam saber just uh, white plastic with a painted green beam and holds it just as well as the beam rifle actually a really nice looking beam saber I thought uh -oh, side skirt came off now the last of Wing Gundam's accessories is the little stand that each uh, speed grade model kit comes with and it's just a gray base and has each uh, mobile suit's name on it and it comes with a removable little stand that clips onto it it's actually really tight so it's kinda hard to get off there we go uh, so you can have him you can actually display it two ways it comes with a little spot on the bottom where you can clip on the stand when you're not using it and just have them standing on it or you can do what I prefer to do and clip it onto the back like it was and Wing Gunnam's got a hole right in his crotch you can put that peg in the hole and there you go and you can have all sorts of different flying poses for your speed grade model kit alright so now for some size comparisons like I said this is a 1 200th scale model kit so it's going to be slightly smaller than a uh, MSIA Gundam action figure and about half the size of a 1 to 144th scale model kit so here is the speed grade next to the 1 to 144th scale Wing Gundam. And as you can see, like I said, it's about half the size. It almost looks like a uh, 1 144th scale standing to a 1 100th scale. But this is the 1 to 144th scale no grade and the speed grade. And as you can see, these things are pretty small which is another reason why I was surprised at how detailed and articulated these speed grade kits were because most of the time when you shrink something down you sacrifice uh, uh, outer detail and articulation but that wasn't the case with the speed grades so uh, here he is next to the speed grade RX-78 as you can see RX-78 is a little bit taller but then again that's accurate because wing the mobile suits from Gundam Wing were a bit smaller but uh, overall I think that the speed grade kits are really really nice uh, they're not expensive like I said I got this for eight or nine dollars and I built it in 18 minutes so definitely a nice little kit to pick up if you're just wanting to pass some time on a lazy afternoon or something so that's about it for this review, and I will see you guys next time.